doubts sometimes. Uh, what about doubts about our faith? I mean, have you ever felt like Peter before? Like you were just sinking in doubt or unbelief or you were afraid? You know what? I think if we're really honest with ourselves today, all of us have had doubts at one time or another in our life and with our faith. But what Jesus wanted Peter to understand in this situation was that faith is a unique and special force that's at work in our world around us and faith is a unique and special force that's operating in our lives as well. And just like water has these unique properties that allow it to defy gravity and do all these neat, unusual things, so our faith in Christ has this unique, these unique attributes. Our faith in Christ has this unique force that also allows us to cling to the truth that is in God's Word. And that truth that is in Jesus. It also allows us to defy gravity in our faith. To overcome fear and doubt and to believe that we can have our own experience with the truth that empowers us to believe. We can have faith to be different. We can be like the lopsided molecule of water. We can defy gravity, clinging to Christ. We can be empowered to follow Him through the forces of faith. Alright? Alright. This is a neat, This is one of my favorite Bible stories, actually. I really like it. But alright, let's take a look at our experiment with reality now so that we can test the truth and, and see what's going on with the lopsided molecule. All right, our nations right here, and uh, all of these. Uh, there's nothing special about these. Uh, these are all uh, white carnations in a, a vase of water. But what we did a couple days ago, we took the liberty of putting one carnation in a red dye. Uh, my wife helped me get this set up. We we dyed the water red. And uh, we inserted this carnation. And this shows us capillarity. Water has the ability to defy gravity and to go up. And as you can see, I hope you can see that on, online. As you can see, uh, this carnation has already begun to change colors. We're going to leave it in here and see if it will, uh, it will eventually become totally red uh, from the red water. But this, this proves, this is a test. A truth tester that proves that water defies gravity because the red water is going up the stem of the carnation and changing the actual carnation's color. Now there's one other thing uh, about water, the, the main principle that we want to look at this morning, and that is cohesion. And this is our, our brings us to our main experiment. We're going to show how water, uh, and I like to call this experiment walking water. We're going, you, you ever, ever took your dog for a walk? We're going to take water for a walk. And here's what happens. Uh, we know that the negative and positive charges in water allows water molecules to cling to one another. And so what, what happens here is once, once something is already wet, like this string, uh, you just take a piece of yarn. If you want to do this at home, you just take a piece of yarn. You can make it as long as you want. You saturate the, uh, the yarn um, in the water, right? Get the yarn totally wet. And then what happens is the, the laws that are present in, in God's cosmos and in His creation, the laws of the creation kick in because water will naturally attract water. And so what we have here is the ability to defy gravity. And as you can see, all the water stays on the string and doesn't fall off. Once the, once the string is totally wet, what happens is that the positive charges in the one water molecule, the positive hydrogen charges, cling to the other molecules in the negative hydrogen charge, right? And so you see what's going on there. You know what? We've tested the truth and we've performed, uh, we performed another experiment with reality. And again, these realities have proven and tested true. And as you can see, as uh, the water runs down the stream, that water has the ability and the properties to allow it to defy gravity. Water is the most amazing substance on earth. And without it, life would not be possible. 
Water also is noted for cohesion, capillarity, and its surface tension. All of these ideas also prove true. So what do cohesion, capillarity, and Christ all have in common? Well, they all have the ability to defy gravity. Today, my hope is that you will realize that just like Peter uh, walked on the water, you can also have the ability Down the through street. faith right. to defy gravity. If you'll just believe the truth that's in Jesus, God will give you a faith experience. He'll make you like a lopsided molecule of water. Faith that can defy gravity and bring you to a place where you live free of fear and doubt and death shadows. A place where you can have an experience with faith that empowers you to be able to cling to Christ in relationship. My hope for you today is, as you watch this truth tester, and that as you experiment with reality, that you would be allowed, uh, that God, by God's power, you would be allowed to bathe yourself in faith so that you can believe in the truth and you can be attracted to Christ. And through the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, you may be empowered to live a life that defies gravity, that defies fear, that defies doubt. May you be empowered by faith to live a life that, in, that defies the thought that only what you can see is all there is. Only what I see with my eyes is all there is. There's nothing more. May you have an experience today that empowers you to live above that. Because you know what? There's so much more to this life than what we can simply see. The Bible says, No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for those who love Him. And we walk by faith and not by sight. Paul told Timothy to continue in what you have learned. And firmly believe. Uh, firmly believe what? Firmly believe what you have received from childhood. And the sacred scriptures that you know and have learned. Which are able to instruct you to believe in salvation. Through faith in Jesus Christ. Today, may you be like a lopsided molecule. May you believe in faith that is in Jesus Christ. And may you be empowered to defy gravity.